there's threats and the truth we deny it we pray somehow we can fight it oak trees with their breeze yet still violent each time we hear cries there is silence we won't take a life for granted and we won't be afraid we will never forget and we will never let you down when the moon lifts and the sun sets and the world spins around all that i know is that when we go and our bodies touch the ground we are far beyond the clouds what's worth all the rage and the envy a burden to cross but it's so heavy Alright guys, I'm back. Now, I've had actually quite a few people come out to me and ask me to come back to the server, so here I am. And it's kind of perfect timing too because I always told uh, Dragon a couple times that if there was ever a competition that had spider eyes in it, that I would probably end up winning it hands down. I think there's one other person on the server that has a bigger spider farm than me, but as far as I know, he hasn't built it yet, so yeah. Got that going for me. Right now, the only rule that actually uh, Dragon put up was no AFK angle eating, which I guess he learned from the last competition, the chorus fruit, eat, the chorus fruit eating one, because it'd be basically the same exact thing here, kinda. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to eat a bunch of these spider eyes because I have like a. In... <laughs> I'm never going to run out. And I might try getting a. So I think we're in the desert right now. I don't, ha I don't have any mods on. The only mod I have is OptiFind, which is all I'll be using from now on. Uh, yeah. I'll probably be getting Schematica back just to make the castle, but that's about it. Because it turns out that this is also a big deciding factor for me to come back to the server. Is that it. Uh, over doesn't want to. He's actually on right now too. Doesn't want to reset the world either. When an update comes out, so if it doesn't get reset, then I'm gonna go full on building the castle. And yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna continue doing this for a little bit, and I'll see you guys at the castle, or the, I guess it's the guardian farm for now. Which, by the way, the sorting system is all in place now. I just have to start taking uh, boxes of stuff over. And I figured if I only put in one chest of worth of stuff at a time into the system, uh, it'll be a little bit slower. I'm sure I can put a timer on there somehow, but uh, to make it automatic, which I probably would do. And anyways, I put a timer on there to make it so the. Uh, I just have to empty the chests from my current storage into shulkers, and then put those two shulkers into the system first, and they'll end up in the chest, like right into the uh, proper chests that they go into. And I just have to adjust it from there going on. So, nice. Right, talk to you later. All right, guys, we're back here at the base now, our old base, and it's moving day. Today we're gonna fill up each one of these chests into two shulkers, and yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is take a chest like, uh... So I want this kind of sorted out the same way. And it goes like this, down, 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 right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this and toss all this in the garbage because I don't want any of this fish. Actually, no, why am I even bothering testing the garbage? I don't need to do that at all. I can just leave it here. So that top chest, I'll put like, uh... 
just a item to save space in there. So, no, not that short. Those. I mean, I could probably get away with putting this all into one chest, I think. No, maybe not. More fish. I'll take my golden apples. So basically what's going to happen is I'm just going to put these into the... Oh, why is there lava buckets in there? What the frick? Trade. I'm just going to, uh, yeah. Put these into the new storage system one by one. And sort them out as I go, and then... Stuff like that multi-item chest, like I'll grab one here. I'll show you guys what I mean. If I do this one double chest at a time into the new system, it will put everything back into its relative spots as long as I fill up the chest before it uh, properly. So if I was to take, say, uh, let's, what's a good chest here? Like my redstone chest, for instance. If I was to take all these items out and just sort them out into the new system the way I want them, it'll automatically go into the spots I have them sorted out. Same with uh, random stuff. If I, as long as I fill up all the chests in here before this one, everything I put into this chest or into the new system will automatically end up in this chest, regardless if there's a space like that or not. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to grab a couple more chests worth here and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, this has been a long time coming and it's time to actually start work on the new base again. I remember there's going to be a wall right here, so you're going to be able to see this at all. This is going to be the shulker box, not the shulker box and loader, but the item elevator. And in order to make that, we need to make two droppers facing into each other. Right about, we need to center it there. Alright, and then we'll have a couple hoppers, like that. Remember, there's going to be a wall here. Um, actually, I think we're going to lower this down one. I'll try anyway. Let's see what I can do. I'll have to pillar up from the bottom, I guess. And this whole room down here is you don't you don't ever see this anyway, so it's not a big deal. And this should be the lower level now. All right, so where's that middle? Right here. I put a lot more hoppers up there than I needed just because I wasn't sure exactly where the uh, item elevator was going to go. And I don't know why I pilled it up so high. Actually, it's supposed to go right here. This one. So if I pill it up to here. And say the wall, because I want this visible, right? So the wall is going to go right here. Which means these go hoppers, and then wall, and then there's going to be a double trap chest right here. This is for just direct input for me, and then there'll be a another input right here off to the side for a shulker box and loader. So next we need to make the actual redstone for the whole caboodle. Let's see here. I haven't done this in a while, my bad. Uh, 
forgot on knowing it was the Plitz Observers. Alright, good. Put that back. We're gonna put a sticky piston right there with another one facing not that way that way so it'll go across and it'll power both of those really fast and make it amazing next we need some repeater nope not repeaters comparators some torch and some dust like this it'll take a signal from this one it'll Power that block, which will take it. I'm gonna go up against the wall here because there's more room. Piece of redstone that's there. That'll power the piston, which will power the whole thing. And then we want this to stay on for an extended period of time. So we'll just take some more dust. Repeater, 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 and done. This should stay on until it's completely empty now. Let's just give it a test. See, this is exactly what I didn't want. I messed it up, my bad. There we go. There, now we got our little repeating circuit. Now I know I can make this a lot smaller, but that's not what I'm going for. It's something that works. So there we go. And next, all I gotta do is take... I'm just gonna use wool for this, because I have lots of it here. And this, this item elevator isn't gonna be shown, so... Where is my wool chest? There's no point in keeping it uh, open. So let me just uh, pillow this up to the top, and I'm, yeah. Alrighty, now. The item elevator is all in place. I had to ba break a place of glass there, but you know, there's a couple pieces of glass around here that I have to replace anyway, so it's no big deal. And I got the Guardian Farm on XP mode right now, because I'm not really getting XP, but I'm just stocking up on Guardian supplies. Uh, yeah. So, I put some water up there, that's what the wool is holding back. It's just to help, if there's any extra items that the, sh that the hopper can't hold, it'll help push the ho items into another hopper so it can it, they won't despawn. So now we're going to build the shulker box on the loader. And I actually did have to go get Schematica back for this one because I don't exactly remember how to do it. So... So let's go with this. We're just going to ignore the stone because I just took it from my other base there. We're going to rotate this way, that's the front. I think that's where I want it. Yeah. No, one back. So I don't want to see the uh, hoppers. And it should line up perfectly. Good, 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 good. These hoppers here, this is the output line right here, so we'll just ignore those for now. That's the line that'll actually go into the item elevator. Which I really hope it lines up because this is going to suck if it doesn't. Yep, yeah, that'd be perfect. So let me just mark out where it goes here. dig those out. There we go. 
Alright, so let's just show that again and we'll go down to layer 0. And enough in there, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me just go into my controls here for a second and. in actual game controls. Schematic, there we go. Uh, next layer, plus button. There we go. Still nothing. And then we have stuff. Okay. So it looks like we can put in the line for the system right now. And that shouldn't be a problem. I need some. I'm just gonna use wool. Remember, blue blocks are the ones you do not want to step on. So, ah, see, we're having a problem already. So, we'll have to put this line in later because I don't exactly know where the actual line that the system is going to go. Shift click. sign here. And then this one should be output, but I'm still going to use trap chests for all of them, just because I got them and I can. Hi. Oh, nope, see, now it's sticking out. That's not what I want at all. You know what? Nah. Screw it. No, 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 screw it. This is not what I want.
Alright guys, I'm back. Let's see if I did this right now. So if we just take, say, our... Mm, I want one that's not really full of anything, just for a test. Ah, this one will do. So I take this redstone box and place it in here. Why did two? Oh wait, that's from the me building. Never mind. So everything is getting emptied into here. That's perfect. It's exactly what we want to see. Now, if I take this redstone line and funnel it over here, I can't pass under this hopper or this chest though. So this could be a little bit tricky because this is the output chest for the hopper. I mean, for the chocolate boxes. Now I got the hopper, so I could just go bring it around the back here. And let's unload that. Don't need that anymore. Right here is where we can load it into the side. I gotta go down one though somehow. There we go. So we'll need these. Should be able to come around this way. And that's the one we want, so we're just gonna go like this and done. There we go, item elevator is activated. Now, all that stuff I just put in should end up in once it goes through the whole system. This is a big sorting system now. This chest. We're gonna work on covering up this whole area next after, on the next episode, so next week. And I don't think there's any redstone constant signal here, so this shouldn't cause any issues. Um, let me see here. If I put in, say, steak. Yeah, see, it just pulses for a second, which is completely fine. And there's my box back. Which I will fill back up. So next episode, we are going to start covering up this whole area, making it look good. And put this wall in, cover all these up, cover all those up. We're gonna start to make a design for here and here. And I remember in the middle is gonna be our uh, mega smelter. So this area I'm gonna leave open for now until I get the mega smelter put in place. But I'm going to start sorting out the uh, storage system now that it's working, and... Yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, from game. Thanks for watching. Hit that like icon and bell icon to keep updated on all new episodes.